What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to be installing some IPL side skirts. They are in Moonlight White, just like the rest of the IPL parts that I have in my car, which with this, it should basically complete what I uh, needed to get done with, uh, I guess you could call it a body kit. It's uh, just an IPL kit. Uh, got the rear bumper uh, and the front bumper. And uh, so the only thing that was left is the side skirt which this is the factory sport side skirt now i don't know what the deal was with the uh guy when i bought it i guess he or someone before him got this changed at some point and they painted it moonlight white instead of ivory pearl to match the car obviously my car is filthy so don't mind that uh but going to be changing that out i got really sick of this it's gonna happen when i got in my accident so hopefully everything's okay under there which i don't see why it wouldn't be it's held on pretty tight i mean that's literally just popped off which these will not be reused on my car uh, whenever i put those on but so that's basically what it looks like now um all i know is basically there's uh these right here for this uh i think there's a clip or maybe this screw is for the side skirt i'm not quite sure uh and then there's a bunch of 10 millimeter bolts across the bottom and i think one clip on the back uh and then it just clips into the side um, inside the car, basically inside the door jam. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one off. Uh, I'll probably come back uh, whenever we get this one off and then show what it looks like with the side skirt taken off. So here we go. All right, so we got the old one off. Uh, it's sitting right there and oh my God, it was crusty up inside of there. So much debris gets caught up in here, I never knew it. Um, so I'm going to start cleaning as you can see, I kind of already started wiping right there and I thought uh, I might as well show what it looks like, but definitely if you're doing, going to do this, uh, go ahead and clean up your, underneath your side skirts. It'll help probably prevent the rust that may come. I've seen someone get rust in this area. So definitely worth cleaning. Um, fortunately, a lot of the clips on my OEM one broke. I also took down, took off this plastic flap that goes right here. It's kind of pointless. Uh, it was up under here, not a part of this, so, wow. But yeah, so uh, that's what it looks like. Uh, just a lot of nothing. It looks so weird and bare. Uh, so go ahead and clean this up and then um, show you all what it looks like after it's cleaned and then get the new one installed. That's much cleaner. Um, now I'm gonna throw on the new side skirt and let's see how that looks. The IPL side skirt is now on. As you can see, that thing flares out like quite a bit more. Um, it fit really snug. Uh, this is just, I wanna say a bend in my fender from when I wrecked. But other than that, everything turned out great. Uh, it was very simple, like a lot easier than I was expecting. You guys don't even realize how easy side skirts are to do. I did end up with one extra bolt. Uh, I don't know exactly where I put that, there it is. Um, and I'm pretty sure that has something to do with the fact that there's a hole on the side skirt that can be drilled out let me see if i can find it on this i actually lied uh when i took a look it doesn't go through or anything it's literally just like a dip in the underside of the side skirt but no worries uh i do i was missing just this bolt on the uh driver's side of the car uh well i do have the bolt the piece that the clip that the bolt screws into um unfortunately the plastic piece that the clip holds on to ripped off of the car i am not even really that worried about it because uh it the rest it's got like all these that hold it on across the uh, bottom and then um all these side clips that hold it on across the side along with the two screws on the ends so i feel like i mean it fits perfect like it, it fits so well i mean given it is a oem nissan part but that really I feel like cleans up the side of the car a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and work on getting the other side off. And once I'm done, I'll show you guys the complete car, uh, basically. So uh, see you in a minute. All right, finally got everything cleaned up. Uh, like I said, side skirts are fully on. They flare out just a little bit more. And that's what I really like about them. They almost give it more of a low look on the, the side profile like really like that almost looks like it's close so close to the ground but it's really not with the bumper kind of matches uh obviously the bumper is a little dirty so this looks a little brighter but if i clean up the bumper it would literally match colors right now um 
but yeah. Uh, there's quite a bit that's changed now on the G and I figured I'd give it a chance to show you guys. So right now I put on the black Volk racing GTCs I have. Uh, I for those who don't know, I did get a white set and a black set. So I have two sets of GTCs. Uh, the white rears are bald at the moment. So I have the black rears on right now. Um, but for those who don't know, I actually swapped out my Motordyne for a Z1 Race Duel, which actually just released for uh, from Z1 Motorsports. Uh, it's a really good exhaust. I'm absolutely, get off. I'm absolutely in love with the sound, uh, especially when you can put in the silencers. It goes from like race car to Tesla mode. Like you don't even have to worry about drone or anything, but uh, that's a great uh, addition. Now, as for cosmetics, I did get a new carbon fiber hood originally i had a cybon but a bus backed up into the car and cracked all up the hood this is a vis vented hood uh so as you can see it's got the vents that are a little more uh shaped to the hood instead of just cut straight like they slant down more it looks like and it's got water divers so water doesn't just flow right in onto your motor it pushes it off to the side uh, okay, these are the canards that have been installed on the front bumper while I was getting the front bumper fixed from the incident with the bus. Personally, I love the look of these. They're just very aggressive. Uh, and with me planning on tracking the car at some point, uh, I'm, you know, I feel like this will make it look the part. I know they didn't do a whole lot, um, but I do plan on getting a splitter made for this car. So it will be at least, you know, it's not just going to be pure looks. It will have some functionality to it. I don't plan on doing the uh, plethora of splitters that are made for the IPL that are strictly for looks. Um, so, yep, that's what's going on with these. They're carbon fiber as well. Uh, and I've got a second set coming in here pretty soon, so I might try to double down on them uh, instead of just the one pair. Uh, I might try to have two on each side, but we'll see how that goes. And for those who don't know, I do have built headlights that's been on there forever. Uh, it's just after I stopped doing videos for a while. I don't think I ever showed these off because I think the last video I was doing uh, was showing them off and that video crashed or the editor crashed while I was making the video. So I said, screw it. I just don't want to make it. Well, here they are. Other things real quick that have been done. The G37 now has a, a power steering cooler and an oil cooler. Uh, 34 row right there. I believe that's a 15 row. I can't remember. Uh, not even. I don't even think it's a 15 row. Maybe a 7 row. The last video, y'all, I uh, basically said, you know, I was getting some stuff fixed on the G, which had nothing to do with the performance stuff that had just been thrown on. And that was my water pump went out. So whenever I was uh, taking apart the car uh, while it was up on the ramps, I also went ahead and did the silicone hoses from Z1. I need a Z1 cap uh and then um what ended up happening like i said the power or the water pump went out which is tied in with the timing so i had z1 do a timing job on my car uh and while they were doing that we looked at the oil gallery gaskets which are known to fail on earlier g37 coupes or vhr models they came with uh paper gaskets this one was one of those and with the mileage it had the gaskets were completely blown out um, so got those all replaced. Timing's been uh, all replaced. Uh, water pump's been replaced. Um, I went ahead and had them uh, do a few extra silicone hoses that I don't think I really got the chance to do. But other than that, I think that's basically all that was done. Uh, so the car's really been buttoned up. Uh, performance, you know, maintenance, everything great right now. So I haven't noticed any lack of uh, coolant in here which has been like a very common thing. Whenever I first got the car, I noticed this would stay empty. No matter how much I filled it up, it'd stay empty. It's all been done, the hoses, everything. So car is like near like perfect right now. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying it. Uh, something else I did that I forgot to mention real quick. Let me show you guys. All right, so there's the uh, dual race exhaust. I also did a rear sway bar and subframe bushing collars. And I've noticed it has felt so much more stiff back here since I did the collars um, and the sway bar. I love the way it looks. It probably helps a little bit. I haven't done the rear quite yet, which is gonna be the biggest difference because I can adjust it to a stiffer setting, whereas these in the rear you typically want on a softer setting. Uh, and I also did SPL uh, end links. So they're up in there. I can't really show you guys that one, but that's what's been done so far. So whenever I go to do the front uh, sway bar, go ahead and do the uh, fender liner, all that stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get in the car, get this thing uh, started up. <laughs> and 
and uh, we will head out to the meet. It's been a while. Can't wait. Oh, he's over here. Hey! That's pretty cool. No! <laughs> it's still stock ish. He, he's not gonna rev it. It's just showing the headlights. Hey, you are lying, my guy. You wanna get a shot of the engine bay? Yeah, yeah, show me the engine bay. He's, he's not gonna rev it, he's not even turning the car on. Yeah. Down pipes on this side of the turbo. Down pipes on that side. Oh, yeah. Dude, that's sick. So you like it more now? Oh yeah. <laughs> Someone's been playing with it too. I can see the purple. <laughs> yeah, he's been. <laughs> I've been beating on it a little bit. I'm gonna give it a shot. So I dropped the motor. They they got some house yesterday. Now I'm ripping things apart in my garage. All right, so we're here at the meet now. It's not a huge turnout, uh, but there's quite a few cool cars. But uh, this Z pulled up. This is Ron. Uh, it's a 2008. Yep, 2008. Nice. So it's got the HR. Uh, what's a few of the mods you got done to it? Yeah, Z1, cold air, the ones that go up front, the Tome muffler, uh, motor dyne test pipe. Um, you got motor dyne? Yeah, motor dyne. Dude, you can't get those now. No, no. I think I grabbed one. Um, it was a long time ago, but um, I got lucky. It was one of the few. Heck yeah, bro. Uh, Auburn fiber hood. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, wheels are gonna be the avant guard M550s, the staggered. Yeah. Oh, that's a pretty, um, they have pretty nice standard in here. It's not clean at all. Yeah, it's pretty clean, actually. I mean, I like the battery cover that you did there. <laughs> so, yeah, this is a co part car. It was at an auction, and that's kind of actually how it came. Oh, okay. Uh, but yeah. It's tuned by Z1, so I mean, it's it's pretty quick for what it is. You know, it's manual. I have, I have the back gutted. Okay. So, um, no and, rear, uh, no spare tire. Right, no Nothing. spare tire, no plastic. <laughs> yeah. Two piece, two piece rotors from Z1. Oh, yeah. Yeah, two piece. Dude, those are expensive. Those are nice. Yes, very expensive. And yours came with the Brembos. Your so, Brembos are very clean, too. So, I actually, it didn't come with the Brembos. Oh, it I bought didn't? I bought it from a crash in this boat. Okay. Yeah, so they only, I wanted the, the whole the back piece, so they didn't have it. I see you've got aftermarket taillights too. Did yeah. that come on, on the car already? Nope, I bought these, the one with the Z. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, they look good. That's pretty much it. I mean, it's, it's a fun car. I mean, it's one of my favorite cars. Oh, here drive, comes so. another Z. There's another Z pulling Yeah, dude. I like your Z. All right, everybody, that's going to be it for this video. I uh, hope you enjoyed. I know it was a little rushed uh, on the end with the meat, but that's because uh, it was a little dead by the time we got there. Uh, but as cars started really rolling in, we got shut down because the owner of the property didn't want us there. So totally understandable, um, but we had to get out of there. I uh, just want to say Ron's 350Z, thinks really quick. Uh, I might have to do a deeper look into that car at some point. He's also got a Velocity Rand I'm going to be taking a look at here soon. So stay tuned for something about that. I've also got a pretty big project coming in for the G. So be on the lookout for that video as well. If there's anything you want to uh, see, hit me up, let me know. Other than that, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you in the next one.